Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to have a look at using Focus Track, which consists of Spotlight, Active Track, and Points of Interest. On top of the screen, put a box arranged, you will what you want to record. I'll go in settings and enable subject scanning. Once locked on, your spotlight is default. You will keep the subject in the centre of your screen. You can move it up, down, left, right, wherever you want. And it will roughly always stay in the centre. Active track now will go forward and backwards. Like now as I'm walking forward, it's going backwards so that the front of me. Which is great now. In Mavic Air 2, I could never get it to do that. From this, it does it perfectly. As you're going down, and it will keep the distance away from you. And then change direction, it will just follow you. But you can put this as high and as far away as you want. And I say it will follow you. With this as well, when I was looking at it, it seemed to be flying at an angle. It never flew straight because it was using the top sensors to see, like it's not got side sensors. So it was using the, the front sensors, like side ones. So if there's anything nearby, it will notice and You can get just follow yourself if you're on a bike or walking. And you can have it in front of you while you're going, or you can have it following from behind. So, which is a great bonus if you're going out trekking or walking, mountain biking or even on your motorbike or a car um, I was quite impressed that we came the rolls on the list though I will do another test with this um, faster with stuff around me but the first call I just wanted it with nothing around and on top of this uh, it's quite steep on both sides quite good to use this. And you can use it at the side of your front or back of your and it will keep your and let's say height and the height low and last but not least in point of interest more in okay, get two arrows with curves. So it does the calculation first and then you can turn the arrow around. The further turn it around, it will come to a circle. And then you do it the other way and you can make it go the opposite way. So it's quite an easy thing. And with this again, you can lift it up further away. Which I, I do like this. This is quite good. If you're walking or in a vehicle, it'd be hard to do this manually while you're running or something so having that to do it for you would be quite a bonus this is just a brief brief show of the different things it does if you'd like me to do a more in depth one like showing the screen as I'm doing it then I can do that again but this was just a quick demo just to show you what it, it can do I will do some of this following a downhill mountain bike which I'm quite looking forward to that's in the pipelines um, so that should be quite interesting right I'll see you again thanks for watching